another Embrace the Grind YouTube video, and today I will be going over the top prospects for the MLB draft with you guys. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and if you really like what you see, also hit that like button. So guys, let's get into the video. So the number one overall prospect, and no surprise, is Mr. Spencer Torkelson. Now, Spencer Torkelson is a first baseman out of Arizona State. He had 54 home runs in only 129 games at Arizona State. This is a player who many are expected to change a franchise. He is a clear-cut first overall pick, and the Tigers are expected to choose him at one. For any of you college baseball fans, this is not a surprise. Spencer Torkelson has been an absolute menace since joining Arizona State. As previously stated, he had 54 home runs in 129 games, which is absolutely absurd. This kind of power can absolutely change the franchise. And, not for nothing, Spencer Torkelson has been this way his entire career. During Spencer's time at Casa Grande High School in Arizona, he hit 430 with 11 home runs and 99 RBIs. Now, being the consensus first overall pick, there has to be some sort of red flags with Torkelson, right? Wrong. Spencer Torkelson is considered a win-win prospect and he cannot miss, according to Baseball America. An absolute stud and a physical prospect, according to ESPN. And in college, Spencer Torkelson smashed the home run record previously set forth by Barry Bonds. Now, will Spencer Torkelson be the right pick for the Tigers? Without a doubt. Now, the Tigers have had Miguel Cabrera at first base for years now, and Miguel Cabrera just seems to be aging very poorly. Spencer, a young, athletic first baseman, can rise through the minors quite quickly, come up to the majors, and make a massive impact. Is he the best player in this draft? Absolutely. And is he going to be the number one pick? Without a doubt. Now, the second player in the 2020 MLB draft that teams are really going to be looking at is Vanderbilt third and second baseman Austin Martin. Austin Martin attended the Trinity Christian Academy in Jacksonville, Florida, and was drafted by the Cleveland Indians in the 37th round of the 2017 MLB Draft. He chose not to sign and attended Vanderbilt University instead, where he really learned how to play baseball. As a freshman in 2018, Austin Martin started 58 games. Now that's a lot of games for a true freshman. And he hit 338 with one home run and 19 RBIs. To add to it, he stole 30 bases. Well. That's a great year, certainly, but his second year was even better when in his second year in 2019, he hit 410, leading the SEC. Yes, and he had eight home runs and 42 RBIs, and he helped lead Vanderbilt to win the College World Series of 2019 versus Mississippi State. Born March 23, 1999, the 21-year-old Austin Martin made a great decision not to go with the Cleveland Indians in 2017. In fact, he went from a 17th round draft pick to most likely the number two overall draft pick in just two years. Now, only in his junior year, Austin Martin was primed for a great junior season for the SEC Vanderbilt. But the problem was, the COVID-19 pandemic really struck down the season. So, he made the choice to go to the MLB draft, and boy, did that work out. He's going to be a top two, top three pick, and is going to be a fast riser in the minors and a potential star in the majors. Now that I've given you a couple position players to look out for at the beginning of this MLB draft, let's go to the pitching. Now, the, I'm going to give you guys two pitchers to talk about today, but first we're going to go to Asa Lacey out of Texas A&M. The Southpaw is 21 years old. He is 6'4 and weighs 215 pounds. He bats and also, as I said, he throws left. Now it's important now in the MLB to have a nice left-handed pitcher to balance out your rotation. And Lacey could be that for this club. While attending Tybee High School in Karenville, Texas, Asa Lacey, as a senior, went 13-1 with a 0.92 ERA over 97 innings. He accompanied that with 128 strikeouts. He was drafted at the end of that year by the Cleveland Indians in the 31st round of the 2017 MLB Draft. But just like Austin Martin did, Asa Lacey decided to decline the draft pick of the Cleveland Indians and go over to college. Now, in the beginning of college, in 2018 for Texas A&M, he appeared in 23 games mostly as a relief pitcher. He had a 2.75 ERA and 48 strikeouts. But as a sophomore in 2019, he began to flourish. He started 15 games with an 8-4 record, 130 strikeouts, 
and a 2.13 ERA. And after that season, he was a part of the United States Collegial National Team. But just like Austin Martin did, Asa Lacy decided to decline the draft pick of the Cleveland Indians and go over to college. Now, in the beginning of college, in 2018 for Texas a and he appeared in 23 games mostly as a relief pitcher. He had a 2.75 ERA and 48 strikeouts. But as a sophomore in 2019, he began to flourish. He started 15 games with an 8-4 record, 130 strikeouts, and a 2.13 ERA. And after that season, he was a part of the United States Collegial National Team. Now, for anyone that is familiar with mock drafts, you know that oftentimes a player is given an MLB comparison. Now, Asa Lacey's MLB comparison is Clayton Kershaw and Aroldis Chapman. Now, a lot of times you're like, wow, let's, let's just see now. Well, first off, let's go back to what we started with, his build. He's 6'4 and 215, and he's a lefty. That screams Kershaw. And the most important thing about it is that Asa Lacey has a power fastball. Now, Kershaw, these days, his fastball is down in speed, but back when Kershaw was in his prime, he had a power fastball. Lacey has that power fastball, and he has the filthy off-speed stuff to accompany that fastball. Lacey could be an upcoming stud in this year's draft. And finally, we're going to go with the last player we're going to rank for this MLB draft, and it's going to be the right-handed pitcher out of Georgia, Emerson Hancock. Now, Emerson Hancock is another very tall, big-built pitcher, uh, weighing in at 213 pounds and standing at 6 foot 4 inches. There is really no other way to say it besides this. Emerson Hancock dominated last year. He was fantastic. He was absolutely just lights out, and it was kind of out of nowhere because when you think about what he did as a freshman, he had a 5.1 ERA and 75 strikeouts in 77 innings. He had 20 more innings, and he let up three less runs per game. Now, he was always a good strikeout guy. Um, we could say that, but he decided this year that he was going to have his best year and it truly paid off because instead of having to play for the spring season and then go to the draft he's going to the MLB draft now and now that he is he's going to be a top four pick if he falls at all any of those teams would be lucky to have him